What's going on guys, Josh here, and in this video we're going to be talking about the best audiences to be using now that the whole iOS 14 rollout has begun. And this is a common question, right? A lot of people have asked me, hey, my audiences suck, my lookalikes suck, my broad audiences suck, my interest-based audiences suck, we're just in a world of pain, so what do I do? So that's what we're going to be touching on in this video, I'm going to give you my top tips in terms of what you should be looking for in terms of audiences when you're looking for new audiences, as well as the most important factor that's going to really determine whether your Facebook ads work or they absolutely suck. So if you guys are new here, welcome back to this video. Uh, my name is Josh and I'm a seven-figure entrepreneur who loves all things productivity, e-commerce and personal finance. So sit back, relax, let's jump it straight into this one. So just in case you guys have been living under a rock for the last couple of months, Apple has now given their users a choice of whether or not they would like their data to be tracked when using the devices. Now why is this a problem? This is a problem because when advertisers like you and I we are using Facebook to find and acquire customers. If the audiences have actually opted out of tracking and you know, surveys have told us that 96% of people in the United States have actually opted out. This causes a significant issue because we are no longer able to see as much data as we were previously. Now, does this mean that audiences are dead? Does this mean Facebook ads are dead? No, definitely not. But we do have to change the way that we think. And that's the purpose of this video. I wanted to, rather than do a tutorial, kind of use this video as a way of changing your mindset about how you're going to address Facebook ads and your business overall now that this change has come. And let me just tell you, it's going to get worse from here on out. And doesn't that's not meant to, you know, scare you or say that this business model is not going to work. It definitely still is, right? It's still one of the biggest booming business models out there. But it just means that, you know, we as advertisers, we as business owners, we need to think a little bit more deeper and really need to get back to the core principles of how to be a good marketer rather than trying to hack and, you know, you know, cheat use our cheat codes to get profit and all these kinds of things, right? There are no longer, you know, these duplications and all, the, all those kinds of stuff. We need to become good marketers. All right, so now that that's all said and done, here are my top tips in terms of finding your best audiences now that the whole iOS 14 rollout has begun. Now, first tip is to literally not to overthink it. All these audiences, right, are just groups of people and you don't need to overthink the whole process of how to hack and how to like use cheat codes to get the best audiences that's gonna bring you the most amount of money. No, it doesn't work like that. So for example, if you're targeting a certain niche, just go into Google and just type in the best publications for this niche and test whether or not those audiences actually exist on the Facebook platform. Now, after you've started to run ads to certain audience sections, actually, once you found the winning ones, go ahead and let Facebook find you new audiences. The way you do that is by in the ad set level, you can actually press on the suggestions button where you add the interest, right? And it's gonna spit out an extra five to 10 interests for you. Don't overthink it, guys. Just go ahead and just test these audiences. Don't go too crazy, right? You don't need to go too crazy because a lot of people really, a lot of beginners get, get this kind of confused, right? They go ahead and they just want to figure out how can I exclude certain audiences and how can I find the micro-targeted audience that is going to work the best for us. Honestly, they're going to burn themselves out. Make it super simple. Just go, you know, dogs, you know, French Bulldogs, Danes, Golden Retrievers, all these kinds of things. Don't overthink it, right? Let your ad copy and let your creative do all the heavy lifting. Now, tip number two is for lookalike audiences. I generally recommend, right, that you would create a lookalike audience after 200 to 300 actions, depending on what the lookalike audience is, right? So for example, if there's page views or purchases, you know, you should wait until 200 to 300 to actually test and create a lookalike audience. But now that the whole iOS 14 rollout has come, what I want you guys to do is actually to wait this out. Go and let your pixel gather more and more data, right? And so that it can build a better quality audience. You can definitely test it at the 100, 200, 300 mark, but I wouldn't have huge amounts of confidence that it would work out for you. So what I would actually recommend is just wait that out. Now also on the other topic of lookalike audiences, when you're creating your lookalike audiences, generally what we would do is test these audiences at a 1% interval, right? So 0 to 1%, 1 to 2%, 2 to 3%, and so on and so forth. Now, once the whole iOS 14 rollout started to happen, and in the whole month of June, our lookalike audiences just kind of crapped themselves. They died, they didn't really work as well as they used to. So what did we do? We started testing audiences, or these lookalike audiences, at a much larger scale. We broadened out the audience, you know, plane. So what that means is we created a lookalike audiences for purchases at 0 to 3%, and that has been 
performing really well for us, right? So we, okay, we're like, okay, great, that works. So let me test out zero to 5%, zero to 7%, zero to 10%, right? Just really broadening out these audiences and it's been working amazingly for us. So if you guys have been just testing lookalike audiences on the 1% increments, I would recommend broadening that out and giving that a go as well. Now, tip number three is to simply just go broad. Right? I've always been talking about finding broader audiences and broader audiences, honestly, in 2021 and further, it's going to be the play because honestly, Facebook needs as much breathing room as possible, right? And the best way to do that is just to advertise to every single person on the whole Facebook platform. Now, Facebook will know and Facebook is still smarter than you and I, right? So they're gonna know which parts of that audience are going to be the ones that are going to convert with your ad. Honestly, just going broad is one of the best ad sets and the best audiences that we continue to test today. Now, in terms of broad audiences, what we like to do is we actually like to demographically segment these audiences. What I mean by that is, for example, I'm not gonna go ahead and create a male and female ad set that goes from 18 to 65 plus. No, because that just doesn't make sense. It's just gonna be too big. And honestly, we just won't know which audience works, right? So what we like to do is actually segment it out based on male, female, and also by a 10 year increment. So for females, we're gonna have, you know, 18 to 25, 25 to 35, 35 to 45, and so on and so forth. And the exact same for males as well. This works extremely well for us because then when we find certain audiences, right, that have been working for us, we can just throw them all into a CBO at a higher budget and let Facebook do all the heavy lifting for us, right? Because for us as advertisers, our heavy lifting, and this leads me to my final point, the most important point of the video, is that our heavy lifting as advertisers should be on the creative that we make and also the advertising message that we send through our ads on Facebook because Facebook can't control that. We have to give them the right inputs for the machine to actually work. So this leads me to my final and most important point of the video is that the audience selection doesn't matter as much as you think it does. What matters even more is our marketing message. How congruent is our is the language that we're using? How strong is the hook that we're using? How eye-catching is our ads on the platform? For us to say, Facebook doesn't work anymore. My audience selection doesn't work anymore. I'm gonna not use Facebook. It doesn't make any sense. Honestly, Facebook is one of the most used platforms aside from TikTok that it's, it's just crazy to not use this platform. So what do we need to do? We need to improve our marketing message. And why do we need to do that? We need to do that because Facebook overall still has millions of data points on each consumer, regardless of whether or not they've opted out of tracking or not, right? So Facebook's gonna know exactly which audience is going to be potentially interested in our product. But we need to make sure that when Facebook delivers that ad to our ideal customer, that ad is good enough so that they would actually be interested in clicking and then going onto our website. Then we talk about opt-in pages. How can we make them go and opt into our email list and how can we remarket them so we don't have to re rely on the remarketing functions of Facebook. This is what's most important, right? And we're gonna go ahead and create a whole new series about how to be, how to be better marketers on this channel. And all of it will be given for free. We also will have live streams every single Saturday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And we can go ahead and talk about this and really develop and learn together, right? So that we can still utilize the Facebook platform and go ahead and be, become better marketers. And regardless of how much visibility we lose, we can still profitably advertise our products on Facebook. So that is all the time that we have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I hope you, this really starts to get your mindset kind of shifting from how can I hack my way through this platform? And rather than that, focusing on how you can become better marketers, how you can become clearer speakers, right? How you can hook people in a stronger way than you previously did. If you have any questions, make sure you throw them down below. I'd love to help you guys out. My job here is to serve you, right? Now, with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know exactly when I drop another video. I hope to see you guys on a live stream soon. Remember, it is at 9 a.m. on Central Standard Time on Saturdays, okay? So I hope you guys are staying safe. Wish you guys all the best, and I'll catch you guys in another video very soon. Bye for now.